What is up YouTube? It's Kingfisher745 and welcome to Let's Play Saturday. For just one day out of the week, we're going to venture outside of our comfort zone and play something other than Marvel Avengers Alliance. Now this could include any type of game really and I'm open to suggestions. But for the first game I will be playing something that's brand new to me. I've never played this game before, but it did look like a lot of fun. And the name of this game is Orcs Must Die 2. Like I said, this is my first time playing it, so please bear with me. I hope that it's going to be entertaining, but I definitely have no idea what I'm doing. This game is made by Robot Entertainment, and of course there is an Orcs Must Die. However, I haven't played that one either. The only experience that you could say that I have of this game is the fact that I watched one video of Total Biscuit playing it. So yeah, here goes nothing. We're going to choose the War Mage. And so let's go ahead and click on him. And it looks like we have to give him a name, so... Kingfisher745. And the plan is just to figure this one out as we go. So let's go ahead and create our character and jump right into the action. There is downloadable content for this game, but we're not going to get into that right now. For now, I'll just stick with the campaign mode, and it looks like the very first map is going to be the edge. Alright, so let's get started. In the very first screen, it looks like tries to give us a few hints of what's going on. So don't let your enemies escape through the mines. Then there's our currency, rift points, wave counter, and our loadout bar. Alright, so I think I got everything down. And by the way, I'm someone who doesn't usually look up instructions. I like to figure the game out as I go. So there is a chance that I'll completely fail at this game, and I think that could be kind of funny. It actually adds an element of danger. Alright, and since this is the first Let's Play, I'm really not sure if you'd rather me skip through the cutscenes, or if you'd like to see them. So if you care either way, leave a comment in the section below, and I'll make sure to take them into account. But for the first time, I will let it play through. So let's hope it's not too long, because I am really interested in the gameplay, and I want to see exactly how this thing works. So far I like the art style, and my basic understanding of how this plays is you have to set up traps, and then you also have a primary weapon. You use your weapon along with these traps to try to kill the orcs before they escape the mines. And that really is about the extent of what I know about this game. So here we go, it looks like it's time to play. So first we have to hit B and choose our defenses. It looks like we have three slots and three things to choose from, so this shouldn't be too difficult of a decision. I guess in our first slot we'll use our blunderbuss, and then the tar traps, followed by the arrow walls. Now let's take a look around, it looks like the orcs spawn out right there, and then they follow this path. So I'm just going to go ahead and explore. The good news is it looks like they don't start spawning until we tell them they can. So we have to hit G. Alright, so there's the door. That's where they go out. And like I said, this is the path that they run down. So we have to set up traps and then stand in their way and try to block them. Well, not block them. I mean we have to kill them. So it seems like it would be a good idea to place these tar traps because that will slow them down and then we want to try to put these arrow walls so that the orcs will take maximum damage our currency is down there in the lower left corner and it looks like we have quite a bit to start out so let's go ahead and start putting up arrow walls this is basically our kill trap and then the tar trap is just there to slow them down and right now I'm not too pro at placing these I'm kinda of failing a little bit but hopefully we can set up some more tar pits right here. Well, maybe... Now let's go back a little bit. Alright, let's set them right here. And then maybe the arrow wall will keep hitting them for a while. I mean, since they'll be slowed down, it seems like a pretty good idea. We can't afford any more, so I went ahead and hit G. And the orc should start coming. Alright, so here we go. It's our first action. I'm just going to sit here and fire this blunderbuss like crazy. And there you see the traps. That's pretty amazing. 
I gotta say, I love it when those arrow walls start firing. Look at that, it's pretty awesome. Alright, so the first wave... Well, I guess they just keep coming. So we just have to keep making sure that none get by us. It kind of helps that you can run around with this gun. Because the traps do look like they take a while to reset. So the arrows will fire, and then there won't be anything for a while. Alright, so they do give us a little reprieve. I'm going to use this time to put up another tar pit. And another arrow wall. And wow, 10 seconds goes so fast. Let's go ahead and try to put some more tar down. And then we have to get back to shooting these guys. So let's pull out that blunderbuss. And you do see combos coming up and also currency. So we're earning stuff to put up more walls. I think we have the basic concepts down and so far we're doing pretty decent. I don't think any orcs got by us. And I'm definitely going to try to go for a perfect right here. And that's that number up there in the right corner. So it says 20 and it has a blue glow around it. Whenever that number goes down, I believe that's when you lose. So if it gets to zero, that means 20 orcs got by, and we failed. Whoa, well, it looks like there's... Okay, there's medium orc warriors now. And they seem to take more damage. But alright, it looks like we got them too. And they gave a lot more currency, I think. Never mind, that was a bonus for the wave. But let's put down some more tar. And you know what? We're going to put down two more arrow walls. Let's put one here and on the other side. And let's get that blunderbuss back out. So there's a mixture of medium and light orcs. And it's getting a little bit more hectic right now. Alright, but our arrows are going ballistic. I have to say my favorite thing is the arrow walls. But I guess that the tar is doing its job too. Oh, and don't pay attention to those screenshots. I was just trying to check my FPS. Unfortunately, it's the same hotkey. I kind of feel like I'm lagging some, but I think it's because there might be a process running in the background. So I'm going to have to check that a little bit later. Uh oh, it looks like they're getting through a little bit. Let's try and hurry up and throw some traps down. Well, I'm out of currency already. So, alright, it looks like the rail cart actually helps us as well. Whenever it hits them, they seem to die. And it might be better than the traps. It's pretty efficient at killing orcs. Okay, so there's just a couple more mediums. And there goes another death by minecart. Now just one last orc to go. And there it is. And now it looks like we get a big break. And we can go ahead and take all the time we need to set up. I really am thinking we have plenty of tar. And I may even want to sell some. I think we should just go ahead and line this wall with arrows. So let's go ahead and put one there. And then you can't really place anything on the tracks. So, okay, I'm kind of failing here. Let's go ahead and just put some more arrows along this wall. So here we go. One, two, and now we're spent. So let's go ahead and hit G and get ready for the horde. That was for any of you ex-WoW players like me. But anyways, let's go ahead and get back to killing orcs. Even though I was on the horde side, I played as a troll hunter though. I feel like I have to get really close when I'm using the blunderbuss, since it is a shotgun. So that's pretty much why I run right up on them. And I think I'm pretty successful so far. None have got through, and they're really not even getting past this first hallway. So I feel like we're doing quite well. Alright, I missed a couple there, but... Just had to kill this guy. Alright, we got him. Alright, it's starting to get a little bit crazy in there, so let's go ahead and back up. I might have to back down this long stretch right here. So let's go ahead back here, and hopefully... These extra arrow walls will do the trick. Also that minecart, remember that. That was our MVP at the end of last round. I have no idea when this ends. There's like, there's no tally. So I don't know how many more are coming out. It looks like we have quite a large bunch. And then there's none back there. I'm looking on the mini-map. Wow, that orc flew right over the side. It looks like these arrows are starting to push them over the cliff. And this is going to be the last one. 
Alright, then we're dancing, so I guess we won. Our first time playing and we got a perfect. But nah, I can't say too much. That was a pretty easy level. Victory, and we got 4 out of 5 skulls, I guess. And then we're awarded the spike trap. So we have 9 new skulls in total. And what it looks like they do is they purchase upgrades for other traps. So let's go ahead and look at this spell book. I don't think we want to use them on the spike trap, even though that does look pretty decent. Let's see what else we can unlock. Alright, so that's what we got so far. And here's the traps. So we can buy new traps, or we can upgrade the ones we have. Oh wow, coin forge. Let's take a look at that one. It sounds decent in principle, but to get the orc to die on it, I just don't know about that one. And there are some other primary weapons like a blade staff and a crossbow. But I think the blunderbuss is pretty good already. This scavenger trinket looks pretty nice. Having extra coins so you can put out more traps just sounds like an amazing idea to me. But you know what that arrow wall? That might be our smartest investment. I'm going to buy that unique 2 ability. Arrows sometimes chill enemies reducing their movement. And so we equip that and that should help us out as well. And then we get a free pumpkin head so yeah we're definitely going to use that. So now we have a pumpkin head and our arrow walls will slow enemies. And that's going to be it for our first let's play. But if you want to see more of this you can go ahead and check out my second channel. I'm going to put another video of this game up as well as other let's plays in the future. Nothing's going to change as far as my main channel, but if you do have any interest in seeing me play other games, you'll want to check out and subscribe to my second channel. So just go ahead and click the link on the screen right now and you can go and check it out. Thank you everyone for watching and I really hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, good luck and take care.